What is hydrogen and why is it so important? Imagine a world powered by an element so abundant, it makes up roughly 75% of the universe's mass. Yes, we're talking about hydrogen. It's everywhere, in our water, in our plants, in animals, and even in us humans. But while it's found in almost all molecules in living things, it's surprisingly rare as a gas, accounting for less than one part per million by volume. Now picture this. Hydrogen can be produced from a variety of resources, such as natural gas, nuclear power, biogas, and renewable power, like solar and wind. The challenge lies not in finding it, but in harnessing it as a gas on a large scale to fuel our homes and businesses. You may ask, why is hydrogen so important as a future clean energy source? Well, consider this. For years, we've relied on natural gas to heat our homes and businesses and to generate electricity. But when natural gas is burnt, it releases carbon dioxide, a notorious contributor to climate change. In contrast, burning hydrogen does not release carbon dioxide, making it a much cleaner alternative. But not all hydrogen is created equal. There's blue hydrogen and green hydrogen. Blue hydrogen is produced using natural gas and methods like steam methane reformation and autothermal reforming. However, these methods produce carbon as a byproduct, necessitating carbon capture and storage. On the other hand, green hydrogen is produced by using electricity to power an electrolyzer that splits the hydrogen from water molecules. This process produces pure hydrogen with no harmful byproducts. An added benefit is that, because this method uses electricity, it also offers the potential to divert any excess electricity, which is hard to store to electrolysis, using it to create hydrogen gas that can be stored for future energy needs. In fact, hydrogen is already being used as a fuel. There are cars that run on hydrogen fuel cells. China leads the world in hydrogen fueling stations for road vehicles, followed by Japan, South Korea, Germany and the US. The international delivery company DHL already has a fleet of H2 panel vans capable of traveling 500 km without refueling. In essence, hydrogen is an abundant element that can be harnessed as a clean energy source. Its potential is vast, from powering homes and businesses to fueling vehicles. The future of hydrogen is not just promising, it's already here. Subscribe now and press the bell icon. Never miss an update. Ever pondered the potential of green hydrogen? A question that's been resonating in the energy sector for quite some time. Green hydrogen, a sustainable form of energy, has been making waves in the energy industry. It's 100% sustainable, meaning it doesn't emit any pollutants during combustion or production. It's also conveniently storable and highly versatile, capable of transforming into electricity or synthetic gas. This adaptability makes it a suitable option for commercial, industrial or mobility purposes. Despite these appealing attributes, green hydrogen isn't without its downsides. Firstly, it comes with a high price tag. The renewable sources necessary for producing green hydrogen through electrolysis are costly, which in turn makes hydrogen expensive to obtain. Secondly, it has a high energy consumption rate. The production of hydrogen, and specifically green hydrogen, demands more energy than other fuels. Lastly, there are safety concerns. Hydrogen is volatile and flammable requiring extensive safety measures to prevent leakage and explosions. Countries like the United States, Russia, China, France, and Germany have already embraced hydrogen as a fuel. Others like Japan have even loftier ambitions, aspiring to become a hydrogen economy. This energy form has the potential to generate electricity and drinking water, store energy, and revolutionize transport and mobility, particularly in hard to decarbonize sectors like heavy transport, aviation, and maritime transport. Iberdrola, a leader in the development of green hydrogen, is driving the energy transition with over 60 projects in eight countries. It is striving to meet decarbonization needs, just as it did with renewables two decades ago. With a mature project portfolio of 2400 megawatts by 2025, the company expects to produce 350,000 tons of green hydrogen per year by 2030. In conclusion, green hydrogen, while not perfect, holds immense potential. It's 100% sustainable, versatile, and storable, but comes with a high cost, energy consumption, and safety concerns. Despite these challenges, it's already making an impact in various countries and industries, promising a greener future. The key is to balance the advantages and disadvantages and to continue innovating and investing in this promising field.
subscribe now and press the bell icon. Never miss an update. India is on a bold mission, a mission that could redefine the global energy landscape and position this vibrant nation as a global powerhouse in the green energy revolution. On its 75th Independence Day, the Indian Prime Minister unveiled the ambitious National Hydrogen Mission. With an investment of over 19,000 crore rupees, the aim is clear – to transform India into a production and export hub of green hydrogen. This is more than just a grand vision. It is a strategic plan with tangible targets. By the turn of the next decade, the mission aims to produce 5 million metric tons of green hydrogen annually powered by an impressive renewable energy capacity of 125 gigawatts. Now, what exactly is green hydrogen, you may ask? According to the green hydrogen policy proposed by the Ministry of Power, it is hydrogen produced by electrolysis of water using renewable energy, including energy which has been banked and hydrogen produced from biomass. The potential uses for green hydrogen are vast and varied. Picture hydrogen electric cars and trucks, container ships powered by liquid ammonia made from hydrogen, and green steel refineries replacing coal with hydrogen as a heat source. Imagine hydrogen-powered electricity turbines generating power during peak demand, offering a sustainable solution to our growing energy needs. The benefits of this green hydrogen revolution extend beyond energy production. India currently spends over $160 billion annually on energy imports a figure that could double in the next 15 years. A thriving green hydrogen economy could drastically reduce these costs. Not only that, but the adoption of green hydrogen could also enable India to abate 3.6 gigatons of CO2 emissions cumulatively between now and 2050. Under the Strategic Interventions for Green Hydrogen Transition Program, the mission outlines financial incentives for domestic manufacturing of electrolyzers and green hydrogen production. It also supports pilot projects in emerging sectors and production pathways and aims to develop regions as green hydrogen hubs. The mission also emphasizes the importance of a robust standards and regulations framework, a public-private partnership framework for research and development, and a coordinated skill development program. India's national hydrogen mission is a bold and ambitious vision, one that could revolutionize not just India's energy landscape, but also contributes significantly to the global green energy revolution. It is a mission that is as audacious as it is necessary, and one that could truly catapult India onto the world stage as a green energy superpower. Subscribe now and press the bell icon. Never miss an update. Could a green hydrogen economy in India become a reality? Or is it just an ambitious vision, a far-fetched dream, perhaps? Let's delve into this intriguing topic. Imagine a world where renewable energy sources are harnessed to produce hydrogen, a clean and sustainable fuel. This is the premise of a green hydrogen economy, a concept that is gaining traction globally. The primary method for producing green hydrogen involves electrolysis, a process that uses electricity and water and expensive metals like platinum as a catalyst. Sounds straightforward, right? Well, not quite. The complexity lies in the fact that India, as of 2022, generates about 60% of its energy from fossil fuels. Despite a 66% increase in renewable energy capacity since 2018, India fell short of its installed renewable energy target for 2022 by 32%. This indicates a significant gap between the existing energy infrastructure and the requirements for a green hydrogen economy. The scale of the challenge is immense. To replace the dirty hydrogen currently used in refineries, fertilizer, and chemical plants, we would need almost double the electricity produced by every wind turbine and solar panel worldwide. And that's before green hydrogen is used for anything else, such as steelmaking, transport, or heating. This would further increase the required annual pace of renewable capacity deployment, making the decarbonization task even more challenging. By 2050, India is projected to require a tentative capacity in the range of 192 to 224 gigawatts of electrolyzers, assuming all of it is green hydrogen. This signifies that India alone would require an electrolyzer capacity of 640 to 750 times the current global capacity. To achieve this, India would need 110 to 130 percent of its current total electricity generation by 2050. 
Apart from these challenges, there are others that are equally daunting. Inadequate funding for clean energy, difficulties in acquiring land for renewable energy projects, and a lack of coordination between national targets and state-level enforcement are some of the hurdles that need to be overcome. Another significant challenge is water availability. Producing one kilogram of renewable hydrogen via electrolysis requires roughly 10 liters of water. India, being among the most water-stressed countries in the world, would need approximately 50 billion liters of demineralized water supply to meet its target. In conclusion, while the idea of a green hydrogen economy in India is certainly appealing, the challenges are substantial. From the need for massive increases in renewable energy capacity and electrolyzer infrastructure to the issue of water availability, the road to a green hydrogen economy is fraught with hurdles. However, with concerted efforts, innovative solutions, and a strong commitment to sustainability, it's not impossible. The journey may be long and arduous, but the destination is worth striving for. Subscribe now and press the bell icon. Never miss an update.